Good morning everyone. Today is a, uh, I think a Friday morning. Uh, we're on our way to CVS and um, I thought I'd take you along for a ride. We are currently running version 10, uh, no, 2022.20.17 which is the same as beta 10.69.2.2. Navigate to CBS. I think it's this one. I believe so. I believe it's the right one. Anyhow. I will do my best to keep my hands off the wheel when there is no other cars around just so you know what's driving but you will see me put my hands on the wheel and my foot near the brake if we're coming up on cars and I think it is either too fast or there's a danger of hurting them. I really don't care about my car, well I do, but I don't you know I will let it go as far as it needs to go and um, if that only means hitting a sign or something I would do that however has it ever hit a sign or done anything no it has come close to a trash can before Anyhow, I have approximately 3,500 miles on my car now. Let's see. We'll look at trip navigation. Uh, I have 32,847 miles on my car. I currently charge my car normally to uh, 80%. Um, uh, 79 to 80%. Unless I'm going on a trip. Then I, then I top it off to 100 and leave. Um, I get approximately uh, 233 to 229 miles of range at 80 percent depending on uh, I guess the temperature and whatever um, uh, that is pretty accurate I go to Virginia on a regular basis it's a six hour and uh, 20 minute trip on a good day of driving time only doing a bit gas vehicle and the shortest that has taken me um, while using an electric vehicle has been six hours and 35 minutes so it took 15 minutes longer do I know whether I would have made it any quicker than that I could have not even charged at the second place but I was stopping there to go to the bathroom and get something to eat anyhow so I could have eliminated that stop and probably made up the 15 uh, minutes because I did not need to charge. When I got to my destination, I had mm, approximately uh, 98 miles or maybe 102 miles. It was right at 100 miles or thereabouts. And so I really didn't need to stop in Fredericksburg on the way down to... Um, charge it all but I did need to go to the bathroom and eat so I did uh, other than that I have had uh, one service appointment which where they uh, adjusted the alignment and they told me it was out but they had uh, I don't know um, there was a reason that I went for, oh, I know. Um, I had driven down to a friend's house and on autopilot and on the way home, it told me that it couldn't see out of the cameras or one camera. And so I reported that to them and scheduled an appointment. However, on the way home, it decided that that camera was no longer blocked and it wasn't like a leaf was on top of the camera or there was some kind of stuff up here it really was there was some kind of glitch well they checked all the cameras they said everything was okay but they did check the uh, alignment and they said it was something out and they gave me a piece of paper they fixed it um 
Uh, I do, uh, I with this 32, 33,000 miles, I am get down to approximately three to four millimeters in tire um, tread. So I will be getting new tires, which is early, but it is very normal on the Tesla. At approximately 30,000 miles, you do need tires. I don't care if they're 55,000 mile tires. It, Teslas wear them out because they're a very, very heavy vehicle. And, you know, when it accelerates as quick as it does and it turns as quick, you know, and it's so heavy, I guess you wear the rubber compound out and it wears uh, out prematurely. I'm not sure. Although, I know that all the forms, a lot of people are changing their tires around 30,000 miles. I'm going to go back with the original tires that came on the car because I thought they were uh, pretty quiet. Uh, they have gotten noisier as they have worn. However, um, I could go to a harder tire, but I'm afraid that the road noise, and that's all the really the noise you hear in a Tesla is road noise, will be higher. I'm getting ready here. We are doing good. Yeah. And now here, for some reason, it only thinks the speed limit is 25, and it's 35, as you can see up here. So I'm increasing the speed to 35, so the people behind me aren't upset with me. All in all, it's probably been one of the most trouble-free vehicles I've ever had. I cannot tell you exactly how many software updates I have course of time but I know in the first year I, I got I've had over 45 software updates in the two years that I've owned this vehicle I got it in March of uh, 2020 just at the beginning of the COVID lockdown and uh, okay watch this bicycle is here see if we give them a little more room and we do we move over a little bit that was a good thing. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I got the car in March of 2020, and um, that was the only service appointment that I had. And do I think that it was, uh, did it fix itself? Yeah, they might have fixed it on their end. I don't know. Um, there was no um, indication that it... Um, that there was anything in particularly wrong with any of the cameras and uh, you know so I really don't know exactly what um, that issue was and that error was but um, for some reason it's going to slow up here and I'm going to put my foot on the gas because whenever it gets to this merge up here it slows up and it cannot so I have my foot on the brake. I am reporting that. And um, we'll go from there. One thing I have noticed with this version 69.2.2, uh, we're going to get to a turn up here that is like a 45 degree angle, maybe less, maybe 30 degrees. And it does not put the blinker on. And I think it should. The other thing is an improvement over prior versions, and I don't mean the version before, the one before that, is there, you could actually go to this and get into a 90 degree turn by going up to that next intersection and turning there, and it used to want to do that, but it would go up to that intersection at the 45 miles an hour, and then slow up before it ever put the blinker on which was an issue i'm going to speed up a little bit here because even though the speed limit's 25 there's three people on my tail that want to do 45 and when it starts to turn up here it's going to slow up prior to putting on its blinker and i don't want them to run over my butt
don't know really why it pulled into that entrance of uh, CVS because it really is the Monroe muffler I believe or something like that now it's telling us the CVS pharmacy is on our left